Yeah, hello, welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time in Ghana, we say Aquaba. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I am Freeman the Sorry Stella. So please do subscribe my YouTube channel. And I have another channel called Team Freeman Simple Homes. Please do subscribe my channels. Thank you so much. Well, today I'm here to talk about a topic that is very important. Looks like a joke, but it's very important. And I title it, Never Postpone Your Ambitions or Your Dreams or Your Visions never postpone it in life so by starting i would like to sing in a Ghanaian language well i'm not a good singer but i will sing in that language you know the big vulture the african big bird he always keeps saying i'm going to build my nest and he, he keep postponing time and time and time and time and when the storm comes that's the when he's going to look for a place to sleep. The little, little birds always go and look for leaves and whatever, and then they try to build their own little nest. But the big African vulture will be going around the whole day, just bobbling around and will never build something. So when the storm comes, that's the time he's going to look for a place. This is very typical. So the song is called Jan Sanum the Kruwodai. That's the meaning of this song. Jan Sanum ne Kruwodai. Like I told you, I don't have a good voice. Jan Sanum ne Kruwodai. Dachi Wodai. Bebu Abo. Oni Panebe. Wodan in Bofred. Ya grow where Chire. Jan Sanum ne Kruwodai. Dachi Wodai. Bebu Abo. Paneba Jansan Mune Kuru would die. That you would die. Bebu Abo, only Panebe, would dine, but Fred Yagro, where she lay. Jansan Mune Kuru would die. That you would die. Bebu Abo, only Paneba. Stop drinking, stop bubbling around, and start building your home. So I will come back and talk about the topic. You see, in human life, there are a lot of people that keep shifting their programs. They keep shifting their duties. They keep shifting whatever they intend to do. They keep postponing. So if you have that kind of a habit, you are the one I'm talking to never be so habitual about postponing time please don't postpone your time or your ambitions you are the one I'm talking to you see in human life if you talk about um, old people old age or you talk with old people and ask them what they regret in life this is one of the things they're going to say. I've talked to some of them and that what they told me is in their youthful life, there were many things they could have done, but they didn't do. Now they are older. They have no money. The health is also not good. They are a bit weak and they can't be able to do things. So they have regretted. There are a lot of people, they even want to learn how to drive a car. They will never learn in their youthful life unless they get older and then now they start learning how to drive a car. So these are all things that is bad. Whatever ambitions or plans you have, please never postpone your time. You see the time, the time is running. You might think you are young, so everything you say, I do it tomorrow. Anything you say, I do it next week. Everything you say, I do it next week. 
or next year and you see the time will not be on your side. The time is running. Look at the mirror. You are getting old every day. <laughs> so time is not on your side. Whatever you want to do, please try and do it now. Things that you want to do now, today, just do it now. When tomorrow comes, you will do what tomorrow tells you to do. The future is unknown. My friends, be happy and be very glad about whatever you do. Be so glad about whatever you do. Have an instinct that tells you that you should stand up and do something for yourself. But what is most important is don't never postpone uh, your timing because tomorrow is unknown. If you want to do some things in five years, the time is now. Future starts today. If you don't start now, in five years, you do not know what is going to happen to you. You'll be weaker. You might lose your job. You might be not feeling well. So there are so many things that you have to take into account. Talk to older people and ask them what do they regret in life. You can take like two years, three years to learn something and then in the future you can uh, be happy about your life. You did not do all these things and when you are older and weak, you regret and you want to do things that a 15 year old is doing. No, your health will not allow you to do. So there are also people that they, in their normal life, like I said, uh, it's a big a bed in Africa, the big bed, the vulture. He keeps roaming around, roaming around, roaming around, thinking he's going to build his house, but he never built his house. And when the storm comes, it's the time that when it's raining, he's going to look for a place to build a little nest then it's too late there are so many um, individuals or um, parents they never do something in their youthful life better and but they try to educate their children and then later on they will like they would like to rely on their kids so they will be playing around the whole of their life and now that the kids are growing they will like the kids to take care of them of course it's not wrong when you can help your kids and when they grow up and they help you it's not wrong but to have that perception that your kids are going to take care of you that's not how you should plan your life because your kids might also have different problems when your kids grow up and they marry they also have their own individual problems so you can put all your future problems on your kids plan your life now don't postpone your time time is very important time is running you are getting older don't put all your troubles and your problems on your kids if time comes and your kids helps you, that's good. But to only plan that your kids are going to take care of you, some kids might not be able to do that because they also will have different problems with their missus and, and husband and so and kids and so and so on. So do plan your life well and don't depend upon your kids that's a bad mindset if time comes and your kids are able to help you that will be fine but plan yourself now in your youthful time so that you can be able to be on yourself and whoever or whatever children they want to help you that will be fine 
plan your life well and don't postpone your time time is very important please if you are here for the first time do subscribe to my youtube channel freeman the storyteller and cultural integrator and my other channel is team freeman simple homes if you want to move to africa and acquire a land and leave this is the channel for you to look at please do share my sentiment I will be very happy if you share this my uh, it's not a joke it might be a joke now but it's very important when you are old and incapable of doing things that is where you realize that you have been bubbling around wasting much of your time your youthful time so do it now don't say i'll do it tomorrow don't say i'll do this the next day no whatever you can do it today if tomorrow comes do something else if you want to plan something for one year plan now so that is very important you know confucius said if you want to plan your life, you have to start now. Don't wait for a longer time. This is wisdom. Please pass this, my sentiment, on to all people of the world. May God richly bless you and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye! <laughs> Bye.